name is Bridget. I witnessed a murder. Just get up on the stand and tell the judge what you saw, and we'll protect you. I know. Jimmy's got my back. I thought I'd be safe. Turns out I was wrong. If you testify against him tomorrow, you're dead. You need protection, and I need to explain how you got away. I ran to my sister, Siobhan, for help. Siobhan! Siobhan! Siobhan killed herself, and I assumed her identity. It was so easy. I saw a way out, and I took it. They all think that I'm her. I thought I'd be safe. Turns out I was wrong. You have the wrong girl! I'm not leaving until I find out who was trying to hurt my sister. You know what they call guys who put down bulls? Matadors. You got a lot of questions to answer. You still haven't told your parents about Mr. Carpenter. Did something happen between you two? Where are you, Siobhan? New York. Walk away. I can't. But Henry, I love you. Tell me, who the hell are you? You've reached Professor Malcolm Ward. Please leave a message at the tone. Hey, Malcolm, it's Bridget. I hope you're having a good time at your cousin's. I uh, heard you took the job at Martin Charles. I'm really glad that you're staying. And hey, the pizza's way better here than in Wyoming. Anyway, um, that clue that we found at Charlie's, I think it's a dead end. The Hotel Pip in Boston is closed. But there is one in Paris, so maybe Siobhan stayed there. Oh, I don't know, am I reaching? I just want to figure this all out so I can lose the distractions. I feel like Juliet really needs me. It's been a tough few days. What the hell is going on, yeah. Siobhan? I know it doesn't make sense, but I did it for us. You did what for us? I ended the relationship to protect us. You think Gemma was the only one who was getting suspicious? Andrew was, too. He had me followed. Like if I didn't do something, he was gonna figure it out, okay? I did it to keep us safe. I don't even know what to say. Other than I guess it worked, because you had me fooled. But I never stopped loving you. Not for a second. Then why didn't you just tell me? Because you never would have agreed. It had to seem real. And what, what's changed? Why are you telling me now? I can't stand lying to you. I hate being apart from you. You know, I gave you this scarf. That day, the relic toss. The relic toss? Come on. You remember. Your little word jumbles for the cloister, so Gemma wouldn't know where we were. I want more days like that. I'm sorry. I have to go. I don't understand what is going on, Siobhan. After you lost the baby, I finally got a sense of closure. Now you come over here and you're just gonna start playing more games with me? Lost the baby. Your miscarriage. I'm so sorry. I, I know that this is a lot. Can you meet me tomorrow at our place in the village? What is your problem, Siobhan? After all, this was my tub first. Hello, Angel. 
time on me. Juliet? How do you feel about breakfast? Blueberry pancakes from scratch? You cooking? Really? Really? Then I say yum. Siobhan, about my mom. I know you totally hate having her here. I don't. It's just, I kind of need her. You know? I know. Hey, how about breakfast? Wow. Don't think I've ever seen you in an apron before. I'm channeling Martha Stewart. You know, I've got a thing for her, right? That's gross. Mm -hmm. Let me walk you out. Thanks for letting Catherine stay. You're being the bigger person. I'm so grateful. Is it really that bad between us? Are you serious? Shiv, you said she was like head lice. <laughs> I know I did. I just, um, it doesn't matter. Juliet needs her mom right now. Well, that's exactly why I'm letting her stay. Julie needs all the support she can get at the moment. It's just that Catherine tends to disappoint. She only wants to be a parent when it's convenient. I'm just worried she's going to get bored and start to unravel. Well, then we will not let that happen. Well, you never know. Maybe Catherine will surprise you. Sometimes it takes something like this to make a person realize what's important. Huh. You going to see the attorney about Carpenter? Yeah. The police and the school are investigating. Just hope they come up with enough evidence to indict him. But it's really Juliet's word against his. Well, Juliet's word is the only one that matters. Oh, trust me. I'm going to do everything within my power to make sure that that man is put away for a long time. Hold that door. <laughs> Juliet, where are you going? I thought I was making pancakes. Oh, I'm not interested in salmonella, thank you. Sorry, Siobhan. Mom's taking me to Sarah Best for breakfast, and then we're hitting Barney's, Bergdorf's, and whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you go to school today? <laughs> that zoo is the last place she needs to be right now. What my baby needs is her mama, a garden omelet, and the three Bs. And uh, your credit card. I'll call you later. Hey, I've been thinking about you and the baby. Is it weird to miss someone you've never actually met? I don't know. Anyway, uh, you were right about network security at the apartment. I was able to download the year-end financials off Andrew's laptop. You're still willing to help me, right? As soon as you get back to Paris. <sighs> a couple of loose ends and I will be on a plane. It's not safe for you there, Siobhan. You've managed to avoid Andrew for now, and I want to keep it that way. Let my assistant book you on the next flight. I'm pregnant, not incapable. I, I just mean, I, I can do it. I, I have a guy that's discreet. Solomon will get me out of town unnoticed. It's a complex world. Caught up in our minds. I'm living on the edge. But I'm still in the two. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? I want to sell this. Well, let's see what you got. Right. Sorry. I don't buy stolen stuff. Stolen. It was a gift. Why do you want to sell it? Because I don't want any reminders of the man who gave it to me. Are you interested or not? I'll give you 15000 It's worth ten times that. I'll take twenty-five. Fifteen. That's my offer. You want more? Try 47th Street. You have the cash in the store? We got a 
deal. And I got the cash. Just give me one minute. I have the cash. Let's do this. Hotel P1, bonjour. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't speak French. That's okay, madame. How may I help you? Yes, I was a guest at your hotel, and uh, my husband wants to deduct my trip to Paris, so I was wondering if I could get a copy of my charges. Absolutely. I'd be happy to fax your charges over. What is your name, please? Siobhan Martin. I'm sorry, Mrs. Martin. I don't seem to have a record of your stay here. Could you have made the reservation under your husband's name? I, I don't think so. Um, it's Andrew Martin. I'm sorry, nothing under that name either. Are you sure it was Hotel Pib One? You never use your real name when scheduling your appointments. Uh, Cora. Cora Farrell. Um, could you please transfer me to the concierge? Absolutely. Please hold the line a moment. Concierge? Uh, hi. Uh, yes, I, I was a guest at your hotel and. Uh, I uh, think I might have left my makeup bag there. I was wondering if you could check the lost and found. Your name, please? Cora Farrell. Ah, oh, yes, Mademoiselle Farrell. What color was the bag? Light blue. One moment. I'm sorry, there's nothing here that looks like a makeup bag. Perhaps you left in a taxi, or the gentleman has it? The gentleman. Oui, Mademoiselle. Your friend. I'll ask him. Oh, one last thing. I was wondering if you could give me the dates of the stay. Maybe that would help me figure out where I left the bag. Of course. I just need the credit card on your reservation. You know, I don't have my wallet on me at the moment. Uh, you remember me, right? Certainly. But the way our system works is I cannot access a reservation without the credit card. When you find your wallet, I'll be more than happy to assist you. Great. Thank you. On the inside, Jimmy. You okay? <sighs> Taking up any uh, hobbies or made any new friends? Maybe he's found God. Is that it, Jimmy? Are you looking for your savior? Because you know I could be that. I mean, all you have to do is just tell me some stuff about your pal Bob Dwayne McCowie, like how he murdered my two CIs. Hmm? I'll even give you another chance to fill me in on what happened with Bridget the night she ran. How about that? Right. Suddenly you're looking at a reduced sentence. That's right. Maybe even transferred to a new and improved FCI. Hmm? Be a country club compared to this place. You're that desperate, Vic. Excuse me? I thought you were hot on Kelly's trail. Almost found her in New York. But now? Here you are, visiting me in the joint, offering me a vacation if I'll spill. You get nowhere with Bridget. You're no closer to Bottaway Macaway than you were six months ago. It's pathetic. Offer's good, Jimmy. You should take it. I think I'll pass. OK. And I guess we'll see how long you can hold out. Bottaway's got you on his payroll. Maybe he's. Got some other pals in here, too. Think they might make sure Detective Kemper keeps quiet? Oh, I think they might. Be practicing my kegels if I were you, Hanson. Andrew Martin's office. Hey, Claudine, it's Siobhan. Hi, Mrs. Martin. Mr. Martin's on a conference call right now. Would you like to leave a message? Actually, I'm looking for you. I, I was wondering if you could give me the dates of the last time we were in Paris. 
Just a moment. I have no record of you going to Paris. With or without Mr. Martin. But if you're joining him on the trip in a few weeks, I'd be happy to make the arrangements for you. Oh, he's going in a few weeks? To meet with the new head of European operations, Tyler Barrett. <laughs> Why does that name sound familiar? You and your husband went to dinner with Mr. Barrett when he was in town before the holidays. Tyler, I'd love you to meet my wife. Your wife? Hi, I'm Siobhan Martin. Is that why you told me your name is Cora? You know, would you mind connecting me to the Paris office? Sure. Tyler Barrett. Tyler, it's Siobhan. Why are you calling me here? I, I thought we agreed never to talk on the office phone. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, uh, fine. I... I was just wondering if you're still mad at me. I, I was never mad. I was just concerned. Did you get in touch with your guy? My guy? Yeah, Solomon, right? Solomon. Solomon. Okay, what's going on? It, it sounds like something's wrong. Siobhan? I gotta go. Hey, I thought you were me with the attorney. Did you sell the ring that I gave you to a pawn shop? No. Why would you ask me that? How would you have called? A pawnbroker in Queens found the serial number on the diamond, and they tried to sell it back to them. It must have been stolen. Why well, thought you said you were getting it resized? I lied. Why on earth? Andrew, I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't find it, and I, it was right before the party, and I panicked. I, I just kept thinking it would turn up. I, I looked everywhere. I even had a plumber come and snake the bathroom drain. Oh, Siobhan, had you told me I could have filed an insurance claim? I didn't even think about that. I... Andrew, I'm so sorry. That ring, it's the most amazing gift anyone's ever given me. I couldn't bear the thought that I lost it. Well, if you didn't sell it to them, who did? Hello? This is better. What's better? Talking on myself. Why did you call my office phone anyway? I didn't. Uh, you just did. Like two seconds ago, you sounded weird, then hung up. From a New York number? It was a 212 area code. This is a problem. Walk down in a little farther. weather we're having, huh? I like my new office. I didn't get a chance to clean it yet, but, uh... Lovely. Yeah. The passports? The French visa's inside. This isn't gonna work. Exactly what you asked for. Now I'm asking for something else. I need Rebecca Sheldrake. If you do it twice, you have to pay me twice. Fine. You'll get your money when I get my papers. Becca Sheldrake. Expect to hear from you in two days. It's always good doing business with you. What do you mean building a case against Carpenter is going to be a lot harder than we thought? I'm not sure I should even be showing you this. But from one parent to another, I thought it might change the way you handle the situation. A lot of schools in New York keep video surveillance of their public spaces. When our security team found this, they turned it over to the police right away. What the hell is it? 
It's best you take a look for yourself. <laughs> Principal Caruso. Daddy? Daddy, what's going on? Oh, we're about to find out. wrong with you you tried to do him right there in the hallway he is your teacher not the captain of the football team why don't i show you out i made a mistake but then he hit on me i told him no mom i said no i didn't want him to be my first but he didn't listen he wouldn't stop and the crap just keeps flying if you expect me to think for one second that you were a virgin before this happened i don't think that's the issue catherine what's important is that we figure out what to do now it's going to be a lot harder to get an indictment. It's Juliet's word against his. There's no physical evidence, no witnesses. Only a video that says that Juliet was hot for teacher. You want to know what I think happened? When Carpenter wouldn't let you jump his bones, you decided to screw him the only way you could. There was no sexual assault. Was there, Juliet? That you believed you made? I do, sweetheart, but it's just not that black and white anymore. Thanks for supporting me, then. And thanks for coming to visit, Mom. You really know how to bring a family together. Juliet, wait. Oh, where the hell do you think you're going? Excuse me? Oh, you're as much to blame for this as she is. You're the one that taught her that putting out in life is how you get what you want. What the hell did you just say to me? Well, stop it, you two. You know, you can wear lipstick, but you were still a husband-stealing pig. Oh, screw you, bitch! You drove him away, and you know it. Juliet's biggest problem in life is suffering through with your pathetic DNA. Enough! Every time you two get together, it's combustible. You've got to get over it, Catherine. Siobhan didn't steal me away from you. I left, okay? And this isn't about the three of us. It's about our daughter. And she's got some serious problems right now. And she's not just a teenager acting out either. I'm done pretending that she's just gone through a phase. I'm going to go and talk to her. You two can stay here and do get out as much as you want. all day. Why did you kill Gemma? Why would you say that? Because I know you did it, Bridget. I just don't know why. If it was money that you wanted... I'm Siobhan. Stop. I know the truth. I have been following you all day. I saw you sell Siobhan's ring, and I'm sure that's when you stole that scarf. And then later, you met a man in an alley. And you tried to buy a fake passport, probably to get the heck out of town. You have it all wrong. Do I? How about yesterday morning? You didn't remember that word jumble. I forgot. And then, when I mentioned the miscarriage, you were in total shock. I mean, do you even know that your sister is pregnant? Henry, I can explain all of this. It's why I asked you to meet me. Save it for someone who cares. Henry, just please give me a... Good to see you, Bridget. Flew in from Colorado. I'm really looking forward to catching up. Left thumb, press and roll. The same with the left index. And there you go. I told you they wouldn't match. 
Because I'm not Bridget. May I leave now? No. Not so fast. I didn't fly all the way from Colorado just for this. I have a few questions. Why would Henry Butler want me to think that you're Bridget Kelly? I don't know. He's angry. Maybe he needed somebody to blame. Or maybe he knows you're a friend of John Delario's, also known as Charlie Young. I have a witness who put you together in the Hamptons last spring. Are you talking about Tipton's Reef on Montauk Highway? He was a private investigator. My sister and I had been estranged for six years. No, I know that part. You already told me. I hired him to find out what happened to my sister. But he told me all he kept coming up against were dead ends. I feel like I've answered all of your questions. Yeah, just one more. Who's Cora Farrell? Beats me. Maybe an alias my sister used. Then why were you in an alley today holding a passport with her alias on it? The only thing John Delario ever got me was a number. I called it, hoping it might help me find Bridget. The guy asked if I still needed the passport. So I met him, hoping it would help. But in the alley today, he was absolutely no help. So that's all I know. Now may I leave? You got something real important to say. I had to leave my kid's dance recital to be here. Bought away as men get to you. I'm ready to talk. He's reviewed the surveillance video. They're saying there's no case against Carpenter. But you still think he did it, don't you? Between you and me, I don't know what to think anymore. Andrew, I'm sorry about what happened with Catherine. The last thing I want is to make anything more difficult for you. Look, you've every right to defend yourself. She's the one poisoning the water around here. And I'm so sorry about the ring. I should have just told you the second I couldn't find it. I just have no idea who would have taken it. Well, I thought it was Juliet, but I was wrong. Regardless, it won't happen again. I'm putting a new security system in tomorrow. But at least I got the ring back. It fits. I stopped by the jewelers on the way back from the pawn shop. And from now on, let's put it in the safe if you're not wearing it. Are you kidding? I'm never taking it off. I need you to come help me with, uh, with Mom. Oh. Just Daddy, please. Remember what I warned you about? What the hell are you doing? I'm having a funeral for my daughter. This slut. Oh my god. Daddy. You're drunk, Catherine. My baby. He's gone forever. All right, that's it. Don't Come on. You're out. Hey, hey, get your hand. You're hurting me. In your state, I doubt you'll feel a thing. You have no right to treat Julie like that. No. Don't I that way. can do whatever you want. I am her. No, mother. not in this house. You know the problems he's had with drinking and drugs, and yet you're mainlining champagne right in front of us. I have trouble sleeping. I'm a chronic insomniac. You know that, you dick. I don't care if you've got a brain tumor. I want you out. And here, here's some money for a hotel. Do you get your bags in the morning? Okay. I don't know why I ever asked her to come here. Oh. 
what your mom did was about her. She has a problem. She's always been like this. She's never been happy. I mean, even when my parents were together. She's always taken it out on me. When I was younger, I had these cowboy boots. And I couldn't do anything without them. They were red and black, and they had these flowers on the side. Oh, I thought I was so cool. You weren't cool. You were a redneck. I know, right? Anyway, my parents had gotten divorced, and my sister and I used to go back and forth between their houses. And one weekend, we were supposed to be at my mom's, but my dad was having a party. So we decided we wanted to stay with him. But of course, I couldn't make it without my boots, so I snuck back to my mom's to get them, only to find out that she had destroyed them. Wow, your mom was a bitch, too. It took me forever to get over it, even after I found out the real reason she did it. What do you mean, the real reason? She was mad at my dad. He basically had the party so that we would stay with him. It wasn't about me. My parents were going through their own stuff. And when I realized that, it made things a little bit easier. Thanks. Lario Kelly kidnapped Gemma Butler for ransom. Lario kills Butler. Kelly kills Delario. Kelly tried to run as Cora Farrell. Hello. Hey, it's Pettibone. Thought you'd want to hear the good news. Your boy Kemper decided to talk. You're kidding. Nope. Once he got started, he didn't stop. I could publish a book. <laughs> so what? I, I, I can come home now. I can just leave this mess here to the local guys. Get on the next plane. We got a signed confession for the murders of Shailene Briggs and Mary Curtis. From Bottaway McCowie? No, from Jimmy Kemper. He admitted everything. Hey, Vic, pour yourself a drink, all right? You got what you wanted. I'm having this piece of crap transferred in the morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. not so fast. Bridget Kelly witnessed the Briggs murder. She never said a word about Jimmy Kemper. Kemper gave us details that matched Kelly's witness report. All right, come on, Vic. Guy's not gonna lie to say he killed two people if he didn't. He is if he's protecting someone. I want to see Julianne. Her father took her out for breakfast this morning. So I don't even get to say goodbye to my own daughter. Mm. What a jerk. I think it's best we avoid any more confrontations, don't you think? Juliet wanted you to have this. She's never written me a note in her life. You make her do this. I had nothing to do with it. I remember the notes used to leave Andrew when the two of you were screwing during our marriage. Oh, don't act so surprised. Of course I found them. And who could forget the little word tricks you would use for your sexual rendezvous? Word tricks? Yeah, the way that you would rearrange the letters for the places that you'd meet. Like, Lucy's Cafe would be Yuck's Leaf or something stupid like that. Did you get in touch with your guy? My guy? Yeah, Solomon, right? Solomon. My sister and I used to do word jumbles when we were kids. Did you sleep with her husband behind her back, too? No word tricks here. Good luck, Catherine. You know what, Siobhan? You can suck it.
This is Vesita. Solomon Vesita. Yeah, who's this? Cora Farrell. Hello, Miss Farrell. It's been a while. What can I do for you? The usual. I'll pick you up in an hour. Hello? What are you trying to pull? Hey, Meg. You find Bridget yet? Cut the crap, Kemper. He didn't kill my CIs. You're protecting Bottaway McCallie. Yeah, should I be mad at him instead? For getting his guys to rough me up? Oh, that's right, Vic. It wasn't McCauley's man who taught me a lesson. It was you. You think the Federal Bureau of Investigation would like to know that one of their top guys had somebody in the joint kick the crap out of me so that I'd squeal? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Really? When they kicked me in the head, they didn't do it very hard. Now, I'm not stupid. Opening. You pulled an old trick to try to get me to turn. But guess what, Vic? Never gonna talk. You know, you might never turn on Bodaway, but guess what, Jimmy? Bodaway's gonna turn on you. You gotta get me out of here. I paid you off. Now I gotta spring you out. What's in it for me? You get me out of here. I'll help you find Bridget Kelly. Miss Farrell, get in. Should I put up the privacy window? No, it, it's fine, thank you. Did you bring your gun? My gun? Bon. I'm sorry, when you said the usual, I just assumed. So I guess you mean the other usual. But just so you know, traffic's a little backed up. It'll take us about 45 minutes to get to JFK. The airport. You don't remember the last time you took me there, do you? About uh, nine months ago. Said you were headed to Wyoming. Wyoming? Are you sure? Positive. Definitely Wyoming. Said you were looking for an old friend. You know what? I, I changed my mind. Will you take me back to the apartment, please? me. Siobhan lied. She knew where I was before the trial. She knew I was in Wyoming because she was there, too. I, I don't get it. If she was looking for me, why didn't she just contact me? I get why you turned me into Machado. I can explain this. Just let me show you something. Juliet, Andrea's on her way up. You're not Andrea. No, it's Tessa. What are you doing here, hoe bag? Working in the building as someone's maid? I know you'd never let me up if you knew who it really was. Damn straight. What do you want? I heard you weren't going to press charges against Mr. C. And I think that there's something that you should know. <laughs> he forced me to have sex with him, too.
right, you know what? We have been out here for a half an hour, and you haven't said a word to me, Siobhan. What are you so desperate to show me outside of your building? Just trust me. It's something you need to see to believe. Okay, whatever it is, you take a photo. Just wait. You believe that I'm Siobhan, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, then look behind me. Bridget. She's the one living a lie with Andrew, not me. And I'm still pregnant with our child. <laughs>